building a van was a huge learning experience. We're not carpenters, we're not electricians. We had no idea what we were doing. It's not a very big van for two people and a dog, but it's big enough. We're gonna do half moons with the radishes because I think they look really cool. Being in the van, it forces me to get outside because when your house is only 60 square feet, <laughs> you have to be outside. There's really no option. It's not about creating the space to be in, it's creating a space to take you out. We'll try and get three or, three or four maple samples today. Try and get out on the ocean at some point. Sunset on the ocean would be cool. Mm -hmm. Maybe here. That's the plan for today. Yeah. Ideally there, because that'll be like a scramble. I'm the technology coordinator for Adventure Scientists, and I'm also a volunteer for them. We're going on an adventure. Uh, we're going to this place where data is limited, and we're here collecting the data. We are collecting big leaf maple leaves, um, as well as some wood samples, to create a genetic database so that we can cut down on illegal logging people will literally go out into the forest in the middle of the night with chainsaws and their trucks, illegally harvest a 300-year-old big leaf maple. And they're doing this because it has an awesome pattern that looks great in guitars and furniture, and people really want it. And so we are creating a genetic library that, you know, if someone comes up um, to a lumber yard and says, I have all this big leaf maple for you, I want this much money, and they say, okay, hang on, where'd you get this? we would then be able to check the DNA of those big leaf maple samples and pinpoint exactly where they came from. Yep. Yeah, this will be a great one. It's got super accessible leaves. It looks healthy. It's in a good spot. So this genetic database is gonna help law enforcement hugely cut down on the amount of illegal harvesting of the big leaf maple. 19 centimeters in circumference. Why wouldn't you want to do your part to give back to the community, and the community being the entire world? Our projects have collected data from around the world, and so you're not just going out into your backyard and, and helping your city, you're helping the world collect the data it needs to really affect change. There's illegal timber harvest worldwide, and so being able to be a part of the team that creates this structure to, to solve this huge issue is, gives me the chills. <laughs> um, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, I mean, I live in a van with my wife and my dog. Like, I am an adventurer. I am going out into these places, and I care about the environment and what we're doing to it. At some point, you actually have to do something. <laughs>